Before that, for an incredible 11th time, Matt Baker has set off on the road with an inspirational team of young people for the Rickshaw Challenge for BBC Children in Need. Amazingly, over the years, they have ridden 5,287 miles. Now, to put it into context, that is like cycling from Bristol all the way to Las Vegas. Yes, excellent fact there, Rav. <laughs> Thank you. All this week, we'll be following the team on their journey and hearing their remarkable stories. They began first thing this morning. We can go live now to Matt and the team. You started at 7 a.m. Look at that lot of high vis. Wow, you really are literally cycling along, Matt. Uh, how's it going? What can we expect from your challenge this year? Oh, good morning, Sam. Good morning, Rav. Hello, everybody. Um, what can you expect this year? We're cycling to Vegas. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're uh, <laughs> enjoying this. We're going up a massive hill at the moment, but oh, uh, there's our camera vehicle. Look, there's Cliff in the back. Um, but yeah, they're filming us. Basically, what we're doing is we're taking the rickshaw around the UK because. Um, Sorry, it is quite a big hill, this. Thomas is doing ever so well on the <laughs> rickshaw. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're just on our way to, uh, to Cheddar Gorge, and the idea this year is that I'm taking the rickshaw to those parts of the country that mean an enormous amount to our young riders. So when I say goodbye to Tom, it's a bit of a relay that we've got going on here. So when I say goodbye to Tom, I'm going to head up to Manchester. Then we've got Ulverston. Then we're going to be going to the Lake District. And then we're going to go all the way up to Edinburgh, which is basically where I started from. Tom, are you all right back there, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all right. They are all doing fantastic. Matt, I mean, it's been a while. What is it like actually being back up and running on the road and uh, when you're not on a hill? What's it like? <laughs> Do you know what? It's magic. Because um, <laughs> we're doing this outside of the one show this year, I was a little bit apprehensive of how, how it would go. And ever since we've set off this morning, there's been people lying in the streets, cheering us on, showing all of that wonderful support. So it means a great deal, it really does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, that's what we're doing it for. That's what those, these young riders are doing it for, to raise awareness and to raise money so that young people who used to be in the same position that they're in now, you know, they get that help, they get that support. So if you've already donated, thank you. And if you're about to, thank you even more. Well, but they are... A very inspirational young bunch. And here's Tom's story. Hiya, my name's Tom, I'm 16 and I'm from Cheddar. If I was describing myself, I'd say... dramatic, definitely. Probably flamboyant, I've been told that a couple of times, and, um, musical. When I was 13, at the end of the day, I got called back into school. My uncle was in there, told me that my mum and dad had been involved in a car crash, that my dad had been killed. I just remember crying, screaming. It set me back a ton. My grades were dropping. I was just completely sort of grey. I didn't want to do anything, really. Well, the space is a local charity who helps young children, um, they give them counselling. It was within the first week of me being back, the school had set up a one-to-one -one counselling session for me. The space helped me to talk about Dad when I wanted to talk about Dad, and also just to kind of enjoy life a lot more. Like, they really helped me to control my feelings to allow me to keep living on. I am part of the Team Rickshaw 2021. When I got told I was part of the team, I, I remember screaming of joy in the car of Tetsuo Car Park. Obviously, I'm really excited to be alongside Matt Baker and raising money for children in need. I'm really looking forward to it. I did do a lot of cycling with Dad, and I, I have been training a lot. I think Dad would have thought that being part of Team Rickshaw was an absolutely amazing opportunity. He would be so supportive and over the moon for me. It's just brilliant, that, isn't it? Matt, um, just heard Tom's story there. How's Tom getting on so far? You know, he's doing brilliant. We had quite an emotional start, because Mum yeah. was there 
at the start line. It was a, a lovely send-off for you, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I'll just point out we're at traffic lights now, having just gone up a hill, so now we're off and running again. Um, <laughs> but this is <laughs> live telly, this is what we love. I've mean, um, never been so but... pleased to see a red exactly. light, like, thank heavens for that. So, um, how, Tom, how are you feeling? I mean, you were the first one to kick it off this morning. You were the first to ride the rickshaw. How did it feel? It felt amazing. Like, knowing I was going to be the first one to start off this incredible journey, it made me feel absolutely incredible. And, and Tom, I know that there's a, obviously a huge selection process. When you heard the news that you were picked for the team, what was that moment like when you heard you were going to be part of Team Rickshaw? I, like I said on the story, I remember just screaming, but it was an absolute honour to know that I was going to be part of this team and do this incredible bike ride across the country with so many other young people who are inspiring. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely. And Tom, just from a mum's point of view, please tell me, they've given you breakfast, haven't they? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had two bananas for breakfast. Good man, good man. Same as me, good Tom. Good work, good work. Uh, what can we expect next 24 hours, Matt? What can we look forward to? Yeah, so we've got um, we've got about 30 miles left to go today. I said earlier on we're going to be taking in Cheddar Gorge, so we're going to go down there. And then we'll be saying goodbye to Tom at the end of today and then taking the rickshaw off to Manchester because um, it's going to be a bit, bit of a kind of rickshaw relay this year. Um, so I'm really excited about what's to come. Obviously, we're going to be pretty tired by the time we've stopped cycling, packing the rickshaw up onto this wonderful trailer that we've got. And we're, uh, we're heading up north, and then we'll just keep going until we get to Edinburgh, which is the idea uh, for Friday night. So we're going to be obviously keeping you updated on Morning Life. I'm so delighted to have you company this week. So uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, it's an absolute pleasure to join you. Good luck, Matt. Best of luck, all of you. Well done. Thank Gosh. you, Matt. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Oh, it's not true that men can't multitask, is it? Look, TV presenters, cycling. We've had the biggest hill ever for yeah, them as well. <laughs> 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 anyway.